My name is Ray Zhong. I'm a climate reporter for The New York Times. My next reporting trip is to Antarctica. This area here is the West Antarctic Ice Sheet. Its glaciers hold enough ice to raise global sea levels by about 10 feet, or 3 meters on average, if they all melted away entirely. Cities like New York, or Venice, or Mumbai, or Shanghai, they're going to feel sea level rise impacts even just of a few inches. I will be traveling with a group of nearly 40 scientists and engineers from around the world. The big goal is to get here, the fastest melting glacier. During the expedition, scientists will drill a hole in the glacier's ice, fly over the glacier with radars, tag seals with sensors to collect information about the water there. The scientists are really hoping that the data they gather on this expedition will really help us understand how much time Thwaites has left. And if more of that ice starts flowing out to sea and breaking up, that could really start raising sea levels around the world. This is a hugely unpredictable region of the world. No guarantees we'll make it to the Thwaites. The first stage of my journey is to fly from London to Christchurch, New Zealand, which is where the ship is docked and where I'll meet Chang Lee, a New York Times photographer. And the scientists. From there, we'll spend about a week and a half to two weeks sailing to Antarctica. And then we'll spend about a month on the coasts. It's a big undertaking and it's a big trip for me. To prepare for this two month trip, I have assembled a lot of gear. I've had to think of a lot of small details. Don't want to run out of notebooks. I'm bringing a lot of those. A lot of seasickness medication. I'm told that heartburn can be an issue. For protection against the cold on the ice, I'll be renting a down suit from the Korean Polar Research Institute. And of course, I'd love to know what questions you have about our trip, about the science, about what we're eating on the ship, about how scientists pass the time when they're not working on a ship like this. So follow along for all our coverage on the New York Times.